right now at five current and former CMS board members blasting a controversial bill making its way through the legislature. HB 514 would allow four wealthy neighborhoods in Charlotte to operate their own charter schools. Today, critics warning Mecklenburg County could be poised to send back to the time of Jim Crow. NBC's Charlotte's Tanya Mendez is live at five. And Tanya, those board members had a lot to say today. The communities that want to leave are wealthy and mostly white. Well, today, a group of concerned community members, former CMS board members, came together and said that this bill is nothing more than a form of institutionalized racism. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. A crowd of clergy, concerned community members, and CMS leaders, present and past, say we're poised for a dangerous future. It's absolutely a dangerous president. A bill gaining ground with North Carolina lawmakers would allow several rich, mostly white towns in Mecklenburg County to operate their own charter schools and give their own kids priority admission. In a time when we have increasing diversity across our community, we should not isolate our schools along racial and socioeconomic lines. The town of Matthews has been fed up with CMS and talking secession for more than two years. Oh, in a perfect environment, I'd love for Matthews to have control of its own schools. Mint Hill got on board and just now two more towns. Cornelius and Huntersville want to jump the CMS ship too, hoping to create and operate their own charter schools and collect money from CMS and the county to do it. Critics say that takes valuable resources away from everyone else. I don't think that is good public policy. It's not good education policy. It's not good for children. It's not good for families. It wasn't good back then. It's not good today. The group vowing to fight. I plan to take this as far as I can in the streets as well as the courts. Saying it stinks of segregation. Amen. And history has proven separate is certainly not equal. Jim Crow was everywhere. You couldn't go here, you couldn't go there because of your color, your status. Who knows what the next rule is going to be coming out of Raleigh. So supporters of this bill are strongly denying that it has anything to do with race or class. This is simply about wanting more choice for their children and saying they're sick of the status quo here at CMS. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. All right, a compelling uh, argument on both sides. Thank you.